Okay, so we got our error. Uh, failed to find build tools revision 23.0.1. So what does that mean? Well, if we look at our code base again and we look under the Android folder, under the app folder, and in that folder is a file build.gradle. In that file, you, you're going to see a configuration setting that says 23.0.1. That is what is telling the build what build tools version to use. So what does that mean? Well, if you go back to your actual SDK, the directory where the SDK is installed, you'll see a folder called build tools. And inside, you'll see uh, folders inside of that with uh, the name of the version of the build tools that it has. Uh, now, I don't know why these specific versions get installed or why uh, React Native by default uses 0 .0 0.0.1 version when that's not even installed. I'm not sure about that. All I know is all you have to do is go back into your build.gradle file, change the config value, and it will now use the version that you actually have installed on your computer. <clears throat> uh, you may have another version. Whatever you have, change this value to the lowest version that you have on your computer. So let's go back and rerun the React Native command to build. <clears throat> and we'll see something's actually happening. Uh, now, what I didn't mention before is that um, whenever you run the command, this other window will open. It's the, uh, the React Native specific uh, packager that uh, helps to run this process. So you need to make sure that this thing gets uh, uh, run or is running uh, before you do anything. So now let's see over in our terminal we have another error and that says no connected devices. Well, what does that mean? Well, it simply means you don't have a phone running on the computer. So you're, you're doing a React Native app. It's not supposed to run on your computer. It's supposed to run on a phone, but it can also run on an emulator. And that's what we're gonna use. You need to set these up so that a, an emulator is available for Re React Native to use. Um, now, how do you do that? Well, let's go to another command line, uh, and we're going to go to the command line in which uh, is open to the directory of the SDK tools folder, and we're going to run a command called Android SDK. Now, the thing is, so we're going to type in Android SDK. It's going to open a GUI, a user interface, to do some work. Now, the deal is that the emulators built in with the SDK are really finicky. They're not really reliable. They're kind of awkward. And so what we need to do is we need to install a bunch of things, part of the Android uh, SDK, to ensure that our emulator is going to work. So what we're going to do is... The SDK manager is what uh, manages the different versions of Android. So you, you can see over here on the left side, it says Android 7.0. You know, you might know these by their marketing name, such as, you know, ice cream or cookie cake or whatever the actual marketing names are, I forget. But uh, that maps up to, you know, Android 7, Android 6, Android 5. The um, thing is, when you first install the SDK, probably only one of them will be installed. Maybe Android 7. We need to install all of them. So we're, we're not going to be picky or finicky about what, what we're installing. We just want everything. So go ahead and, you know, unless your computer is really slow, really old and really slow and has no room on it, you probably shouldn't be doing this in the first place, uh, doing React Native, that is. So unless there's... Uh, that's the case. You shouldn't worry about it. So we're going to go ahead and go to each one, Android 7, 6, 5, and go, you know, go down to 4, check all the 4s, and then we're going to go over here and click on this button, install one or more packages. Click that. It's going to install everything, and uh, it'll take a while to download and install, but 
it n- nothing should happen. There shouldn't be any issues with that. That's just a normal, straightforward thing to do. So once that's done, we need to open up another uh, interface. So we're going to go back to the terminal and we're going to go Android <clears throat> Android space AVD. This is going to open the Android Virtual Device Manager. So this is going to where you set up your emulators to you. So when you first do it, you'll have none. I already have some that uh, uh, I created previously. So what you want to do to create a new one is click this create button over here, give it a, a name, doesn't matter. Now this is where the finicky unreliable part comes in. You need to pick a uh, uh, emulator and what you need to do is look down here at where this uh, where these error messages are coming out and make sure that there are no error messages at all. So in this case, if we picked a target seven, uh, then you know it says no uh, system image has been, no CPU has been chosen. So you need to choose uh, a CPU. So it's gonna keep telling you that there's something wrong until you fill out all the information. So just make sure that it goes okay. So let's pick the um, x86 processor. We Who cares about a skin? And then let's say use host GPU. So we say okay, and it's going to create it and put it into our list. Now the thing is, you don't know that these things are really gonna work. They're really unreliable. So let's try our test one and click start. And we'll launch it. Another thing, when this window opens up, you want, to see, you want to make sure there's no warnings or any, there should be no messages in here at all. But as we just saw, there are. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna assume that this isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna pause the video, wait for a couple minutes and see if this actually comes up, but it probably will not. Okay, what is going on here? Now I can't pause the video. <laughs> oh, baby. <clears throat> okay, that was ridiculous. Uh, so looks like we got lucky. It it works. We have our emulator up and running. Uh, you can kind of do some weird things with it. You can flip it around. Uh, looks like you can't zoom in. I'm on a Windows 10 machine, so there may be some issues with that. Uh, so you can see, yeah, these are really, the emulators are really finicky. You, you need to play around with them to get one that works and looks appropriate. But now that we have the emulator running, the native, the React native system is somehow, it's just going to know that it's there. So now if we go back and we're going to, again, run our React native run Android command, and this time it's going to somehow know that uh, it may be going through all the uh, ports, available ports, and just looking for which one a emulator is running on. There might be a default one in which you can see that it's on 55544 and uh, it found 55544. And so it linked up. And now you can see. Oh, it's uh, kind of crooked, so let's flip it around. You can't zoom in, so that's not really ideal. I might have to find another emula emulator to use, but as you can see, we finally um, got it working. It looks like you can zoom in, but yeah, that's not really... This one's a little goofy. So in order to refresh your app, you can click... RR or hit RR twice and it will and when you want to make um, changes to it you just need to go into the source code well actually let me stop there and I'll uh, handle that in another video but you see that we have it actually up and running which was my goal for this um, recording okay